So my name is Richard Hughes-Rollins. I'm the EMEA Regional Product Manager for the stationary printer family. That includes the desktop printers and the industrial printers. Today I want to tell you about the new desktop printer, the entry-level value tier ZD200 series printer. At the entry level, price is often a very important factor, but you don't have to give up on features or performance with Zebra. It's built to the same standards, the same quality, and in the same factories as the rest of the Zebra printer range, including the ZD400 and the ZD600 series. So let's take a look at setting up the printer. Let's take a look and see how simple the uh, ZD220 is to set up. Uh, and I'm going to use the setup guide uh, as uh, help for doing that. If you remember, this was on the uh, first thing you see when you open up the printer. So step one, install the software. Um, really does help a lot if you actually install your software first, particularly on Windows. So get the drivers loaded, get your application loaded. First step on the instructions. Setting up the printer, step two. Um, let's open it up. There's no media loaded at the moment. We're going to do that in the next step, but we need to connect the power supply. So uh, the standard desktop power supply, which is connected to the mains already, uh, and you'll notice there's a little green LED uh, on the power supply, so that's showing us the uh, power supply is good. Standard sort of connector you, you get on the desktop printer family, and it goes into the back of the printer. Printer has an on-off switch. This one is on the front of uh, the printer. So to turn it on, you need to push the switch on the front, and you can see that the uh, LED uh, lights up, indicating the printer has power. So the next step, we're going to load some media into the printer. Open it up with the two yellow touch points on the side. Standard clamshell design uh, folds up and stays open. You can see the print head there uh, in a position that you'd expect, uh, and the media guides uh, are there. Again, yellow indicate these are things you're meant to touch. Uh, the media guides here are adjustable, so you can uh, open them uh, as far as you need for the media, spring-loaded, uh, and they return. Uh, they also have uh, a lock on them, so if you're using fan-fold media uh, supplied externally, you can actually lock uh, the guides into position. Well, we have some roller media today, so that's what we're going to use. The other thing you may need to adjust is the sensor. Uh, again, a yellow touch point. The sensor, you can move it from the middle position all the way across to the edge. So depending on the media uh, you're using, uh, if it is uh, something other than a standard rectangular format label, you can actually move the sensor uh, across to the right position. So the media loads in, you, you open it up, you put it on the hanger, you put it through the two integrated media guides on the front, over the platen roller uh, and out the front, and then simply close it up. Printer LED goes green, and you can press the pause button to feed a label through. Printer automatically calibrates. That's as simple uh, and as easy as it is to load and set up your ZD220.